when I joined the Doom School, it was a sheer fluke, really, because we had just shot a, I think, either a tiger or a, le a leopard. I don't know if we shot a tiger and a leopard in Sakroda shooting block in Kanpur. We had a shooting permit for the block, and there was Colonel Williamson of the Boys Gurkha Boys Company. There was John Martin, headmaster of the Doon School, and uh, I think uh, Colonel M.K. Dang of the third, fifth, eighth Gurkhas. And I was a visitor with the shooting team, a block. It was just a kind of winter holiday, January. I remember when we shot a lot of jungle fowl, it was great fun. We did beats and hakas and we shot this. And then, then that day, for some reason, no, it was not a tiger. I think it was only a leopard. Uh, there was a kind of s celebration and a party thrown by John Martin, who was a headmaster, uh, headmaster, but he was a very fine literary headmaster from Repton. Uh, he's come to the Dune School after Arthur Foote. And he uh, was a bachelor, so he invited all, his, all of us over for dinner. And we were at his place when uh, he mentioned, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do, my teacher of... Um, chemistry has, is, is going away in next week. This was, I think, 27th, 28th of January, 29th of January. Next week he go, is going away and the school is reopening on the 2nd or 3rd of February. And I need a teacher. So in those days you didn't have access to the internet or anything. This is 1969, 19, no. 1959, 1959. So I think it may have been Jack Gibson was there or, oh, R.L. Holdsworth was there. And he said, Hurry Dang, why can't you teach chemistry? You are a chemistry man. I said, yeah, but I'm working with the Statesman newspaper as a journalist. So John Martin said, uh, but you are here for some Assignment, are you? He said, no, I said, I'm here for a holiday. I wanted to spend some time in the forest. So he said, why don't you become a teacher for a term? See how you like it. So on, I decided on the spur of the moment to become a school teacher. So we, I became a school teacher. I was a very bad teacher of chemistry. So I was immediately moved to geography and English, which I, where I was very good. And uh, a few years later, I... We all went in, back into the mountains and Gurdial and General Williamson and Professor Thacker had helped them and Kurt Baladares and of course Nandu Jayal. They had actually went with R.L. Holdsworth and they, I think they R.L. Holdsworth had climbed Comet with a Smythe. Comet was one of the highest mountains at that time climbed. I decided on the spur of the moment to become a school teacher. So we, I became a school teacher. I was a very bad teacher of chemistry. So I was immediately moved to geography and English, which I, where I was very good. And uh, a few years later, I, we all went in, back into the mountains. And Gurdial and General Williamson and Professor Thacker had helped them. And Kurt Baladares and, of course, Nandu Jayal, they had actually went with R.L. Holdsworth and they, I think they, R.L. Holdsworth had climbed Comet with a Smythe. Comet was one of the highest mountains at that time climbed. And uh, so I said, yeah, I must climb something also which has not been climbed so far. So I remember we had a group of Gurals boys, Gurals is mountain goats, we had a little club. And I said, one day, let's go and climb a mountain. That mountain which you see from Landau Cantonment is very high. It's Jowli, 21,760 feet high, it has never been climbed. So it was decided that, that next May, this was the month of uh, nine, uh, the year 1964, it was decided that we would go and climb Jowli. So we left in May, uh, 14 boys, myself, uh, five, six teachers, and two army officers from the Bengal sappers. One of them was a doctor. And we had very little money, but we all pooled in resources. And some noon school old boys gave us some uh, sweets, and someone gave us some uh, equipment. And someone, I remember, at Tagore's family, or someone gave us chatas, umbrellas for the expedition. And we all went for this 
thing. On the way, before we had gone, we were told in the Doon School Weekly by, I think, Mr. Professor Ram Rahul, who was, had some experience in the Western Himalaya. He was, I think, a geography man or a sociology man. And he was uh, guiding Justice William O. Douglas, who was, I think, Supreme Court not Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court, but a judge of the Supreme Court of the United States, who was also a mountaineer, that there is no Jaoli and there is no glacier called Jaoli because from the Gangotri Glacier, you have the range of the, uh, the, the Mecha and the, goes into the Khatling Bamak. And I said, but we have got a map, a topo sheet, four-inch topo sheet, of the 1936 survey made by Gordon Osmaston. And in that, we have actually seen the glacier between the Gangotri Glacier and the south of Mecha Glacier, I forget the name. And that is the Jaoli Bamak. And from the Jaoli Bamak comes a stream called the Jaoli Gar, Loth Gar. And it goes up into a 13 kilometer long glacier called the Jaoli Bamak, which descends from the peak called Jaoli, Jaoli 1 and Jaoli 2. So I, I was criticized for being a bad geographer, but we went and actually went up to almost to the 500 feet short of the summit. There was a massive slab avalanche, so we came down and we couldn't reach the summit in 1964. So we went again in 1965. Again, there was a different group of boys. One of them recently retired as Director General Military Operations. And another retired as, I think, vice chief of the air staff or something. Because these boys who all grew up recently, I've seen meeting them all over the place. And they're all beginning to retire. And uh, in 1965, we again went up. We had a number of teachers and we had uh, John Martin came with us. Adi Singh, Shilvora, they came with us. And we again could not get to the top, though I managed to ski down part of that 13 kilometer glacier, which was pretty rough going, but I'm not a good skier, but I enjoyed it. And we came back, expeditions are great fun and the boys love it and they grow up to be so much better after such an expedition because there's a lot of hardship, there's a lot of camaraderie, there's a lot of integrity, there's a lot of, you know, that outward bound spirit that studies are very good but you need to break away for a few weeks or a month or two. And um, so life went on. And again in 1966, we went this time. Um, I, Mrs. Dang, I had got married, I think, and she came with us to look after the base camp. And we went again in 1966, going over a ridge and then going up the Lothgard also. We had lots of usual excitement and adventurous activities. Uh, experiences all the way, bridges collapsing, snow bridges melting. And we managed this time to establish two, three camps. And uh, we, we, we found that we sent out either two or three summit teams and all three climbed. I think Parvez Mervanji went on the first one with me. Parvez has died now. He's a Doon School boy. And the second one we had... Krishna Chaudhary, he's also recently died. He was a manager of Mimti Estate in Darjeeling, a Doon School boy. His mother was Manisha Chaudhary, teaching at St. Paul's as a music teacher. She was the, I think, sister of Jambu Chaudhary, Jambu Muzumda, the great Air Force hero, whose medals have recently been acquired by the Indian Air Force. And uh, we managed to get to the summit with two Lakpa Shungre was one of my Sherpas and the other was a Nima. Both of them now seem to have died on Everest. But we were able to successfully, I think, eight or nine or ten of us climbed Jaoli and we came back successfully and all the members climbed Mecha, which is a much low, lower peak. I think it's either 16 or 17. But everyone went up and climbed it. And so it was a very successful expedition. The school boys, we called it the School boys Jaoli expedition or something like that. And then after that, we took out many other school boys from all the schools of India uh, to, to climb Black Peak and Bandapunch. 
and that was typically doing school you know doing out things a little bit of um, extension work for all the other schools of india so that they could all go into mountaineering and adventure sports after that everything became very very commercialized and everybody started climbing mountains because they were in the uh, in the the the, the, uh, uh, the navy or the army or the air force or the uh, itbp or something and unless it was itbp which was actually part of their work the 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 climbing became very very focused on results whereas in, at the dune school the way it had begun if you recall that book for hills to climb and hard work to do for hills to climb it was actually something which was of the soul you were growing up and you were climbing mountains and you were sh- shooting and fishing and doing whatever you were doing as for not for the results but because of what you enjoyed doing so i am still hoping that eventually now we shall all become little more simple and innocent in our ways and everybody who is young will have an access to all the nice things we've exciting things we've done successfully <laughs>